Hi, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle with a quick look at the best hedge under the mean variance framework for FRM candidates. This is from Philip Jorian, Chapter 7, Portfolio Risk Analytics. And before I show you the brief example, I'd like to show you this graphically because this is the easy way to understand this, I think. And the idea is we start with an initial portfolio with a value of W. And then under my assumptions, the initial portfolio has a volatility of $120. So graphically, that's plotted right here at this endpoint on this line segment. An initial portfolio, value of W, with volatility of $120. Now the best hedge question is the following. We have an, an a different asset, let's call it asset A, and we want to enter into a trade with asset A, that is e either we want to buy it long or sell it short, such that when we enter the, into the new trade, our new portfolio will be W plus some position in asset A. And the best hedge question is, what's that trade in A that produces the minimum volatility for the new portfolio W plus A? And so under my assumptions where there's positive correlation between the portfolio and asset A, that means our best hedge trade is going to be a short position in A. That's why we have negatives here. And this line plots the volatility of the new portfolio. As we short A, since A has positive correlation in my example with the underlying portfolio, it's a short in A that will give rise to a hedge. And as we sell or short more and more of position A, we move down here. And there's a point here on this line that gives us a new portfolio consisting of W plus A that has the minimum variance. And we can see on the numbers here, it happens to be when we short the, we take a short position in the new asset A of $80, of $80 so negative 80, and that's gonna give us this portfolio volatility here, which corresponds to the point that's furthest over and to the left. So the best hedge question is, what's the formula to get that? And First, I just need a couple of assumptions here to illustrate our initial portfolio's value of 1,000. I'm going to assume standard deviation or volatility of 12%. And then our new asset A has a standard deviation of 30%. And here's my correlation assumption. I'm assuming the new asset A has a correlation of 20% to my current or initial portfolio. That's a key input. Now, if I go up here, here's the formula Jorian shares. The best hedge is given by negative the value of the portfolio, that's the, that's the capital W, multiplied by this ratio here, the covariance between the new instrument or asset and the portfolio divided by the variance of the asset or instrument. And I wanted to just show this expansion for FRM candidates uh, just because we've got the negative W here. Notice the multiplier here. If I take this quantity here, which is beta, the covariance between the instrument and the portfolio divided by the variance of the portfolio, that's our definition of beta. Notice this best hedge is not quite beta because it's the variance of the instrument in the denominator, not the variance of the portfolio. When we say what's the beta of the instrument with respect to the portfolio, we need portfolio variance in the denominator. So if I m force this to be a beta, then I need to multiply by this term here to cancel out the portfolio variance. See if I put that in the numerator, I'm going to cancel it out. And I'm going to get back to instrument variance or asset A variance in the denominator. So in doing that, I can end up with this alternative formulation negative the position multiplied by the beta of asset A or the new position multiplied by here this ratio portfolio variance divided by instrument variance and so if I want to calculate this best hedge directly then I'll do this then the following I'll just construct this from the beginning I'll say negative the portfolio value multiplied by the beta multiplied by portfolio variance divided by asset A variance and I get the negative 80. Now I, I included the beta here which is calculated separately 
but we know that we know the beta of the instrument is going to be the covariance between the portfolio and the asset as indicated here divided by the variance of the portfolio. So under these assumptions, the beta happens to be 0.5. So that gets me the best hedge and tells me that if my goal is just to minimize the volatility of the new portfolio that includes asset A, under these assumptions about asset A, I want to take a short position of $80. And notice, let me just change the correlation here to something negative. For example, negative 20%. Now the correlation between the portfolio and my new asset, A, will be uh, negative 20%. And that means my hedge is going to be a long position in asset A. So hopefully that's a helpful explanation of the best hedge. This is David Harper of the Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time.